。最近几年，伴随着中国人口的增长以及全球化带来的技术和资本的流动，中国政府呢正在逐步改变以往相对独立和封闭的粮食战略，开始对粮食产品以及相关的生产技术进口持开放态度。不过，随之而来的粮食安全、转基因食品等问题也越发受到关注。其中的争议呢，涉及食品卫生、国家安全、生物技术等等多个方面。而对于这些问题，世界上最重要的粮食和农业技术出口国之一美国，也在其中扮演着重要的角色。最近呢，财新记者在北京专访了美国农业部副部长迈克尔·斯库斯，听一听他对粮食安全和转基因食品等热点问题的看法。Previous China's quite emphasize, you know, self a s s i s t a n c e But now, as I know, that China is the one of the biggest in,、uh, importer of crops such as soybeans and corns from the U.S. What do you think of China's nuanced change of style when it comes to the food security issue? Well, food security is extremely important for 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 any country.、Um, if you look at you know countries throughout the world today、uh, where you know we don't have the food security, where there are shortages. Uh, it's it's a problem that we all face. If you look at、uh, the the growing population of the world today and how we're going to have to increase production by seventy、uh, percent or more between now and and 2050 to feed a growing population,、uh, it's going to take all of us working together to increase our productivity、uh, to feed、uh, that that segment of the growing population. But again, trade between all of us is, is extremely important. If you look at the United States, and if you look at the、uh, the, the value、uh, of, of production in the United States, we still rely on imports from from other countries. But but trade is good, and it's very difficult to produce for any country to produce everything that your citizens are going to need,、uh, and the variety、uh, as as. You know, citizens become uh, uh, more prosperous, if you will. They, you know, the 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 demand for different types of products、uh, will increase.、Um, but ultimately, it benefits、uh, it benefits everyone. It benefits the citizens of that country,、uh, and it benefits、uh, your trading partners. So,、uh, and it, again, it builds relationships. Maybe you are not in a perfect position to answer this question, but anyway, I want to raise this issue because about、uh, genetically modified food. What's your view about the、uh, genetically modified food? Well. If you look at the United States and the length of time that we've been using these products,、uh, it's almost 20 years now since the first soybean came out that was genetically modified.、Uh, and then, if you look at the the corn, and if you look at at cotton,、uh, so we've been using these products for a very very long time. Uh, and we've seen some very, very good things. They 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 help us improve our environment.、Uh, we're using、uh, less pesticides.、Uh, in cases, some cases such as corn, we're we're now having corn plants that use less water.、Uh, we're we can better utilize the the fertilizer、uh, and the nutrients that we put on on these crops. And if you look at what we've done with production. Uh, we've had a substantial in, increase in corn production、uh, because of the technology. So this technology has allowed our producers to do a much better job and grow a larger crop. And if you look again at at where the world's population is headed,、uh, we need to embrace the science and the new technologies、uh, if we're going to be able to feed a growing population. And the science and technology will also、uh, allow us to deal with some of the issues that we face:、uh, growing crops where there has been、uh, a high level of, of uh, salinity uh, in the soil because of flooding,、uh, growing crops that will require less water, crops that will require less nutrients,、uh, crops that will be resistant to disease、uh, and, and insect resistance. So. That you know, the, the technology allows us to do a lot of things: increase production, protect our environment, and feed a growing world population. 前不久，阿根廷农业部部长发布声明称，经过多年的努力，中国已经批准了六万吨阿根廷产的转基因玉米入境。他们将作为养猪和养鸡的饲料。
。至此呢，美国、阿根廷和巴西这全球三大转基因玉米生产国的玉米将悉数进入中国市场。当然，我们知道美国对转基因食品呢是非常激进的，而欧洲呢，它感觉是很保守的。然后中国来说，现在争议还是非常大。那可能从技术方面呢，我们不太好谈。但是从这个粮食安全和这个市场商品的角度来说，你怎么看呢？我觉得这个转基因食品其实它既关系到这个粮食安全，又关系到这个食品安全。那么对于粮食安全，其实就像这位农业部长说的，那么对于任何一个国家，如果你的所有粮食都要做到自给自足，那本身是不现实的，而且是不经济的。那么对于食品安全这一块呢，其实我们现在下结论还是太早。但现在有一个巨大的问题，就是这一块的食品呢，实际上还没有经历过几代人他们一生的这种时间的检验。那么我想，真正随着这个时间的推移，我想最最终，这个转基因食品还是能够被大家接受的。